I, I tried to join the Navy when I was 17 uh, and they turned me down for, due to eyesight. So I immediately went to the optician and said, what's wrong with my eyesight? And they said, well, if you, uh, if you squint, you can find you can see a bit better. So when I joined the Navy when I was 18, I squinted and I managed to pass all the eye tests. I probably had about 18 months of training of one sort or another, really for D-Day, the biggest kind of sea to land uh, invasion that there's ever been in the world, I think. But right at the very last moment, four days, in fact, before we were due to go, the Americans said, well, gee, you well, because Utah Beach is going to be an American beach, we in the nicest way, we don't want the, Brit the Brits leading us on there. And they said, hell's bells, well, what are we going to do? And they said, well, we've got another th something else for you to do. We want you to go to Portsmouth and bring over a, a very long uh, number of barges, which we will need once we get a, a foothold on the, on the sand, a bridgehead there. And we got over to, to D-Day Beach at the crack of dawn, and we naturally, of course, said, what happened to the lead ship that took our place? Because up to four days ago, we were going to lead you here. And they said, well, sorry, we have to tell you, the lead ship was blown out of the water in the first half an hour. And we thought, good God, if, if, they, if they hadn't altered the, the, the orders, etc., and and want to have their own ship there, we would have been there, we could be blown out of the water. We might have been seriously injured, we could even be dead, of course. We motored all the way to Burma. We stopped at probably 18 different places. Uh, we left uh, uh, South Wales in October and we just got to India in time for Christmas. The army had already come down through Burma and were really into Rangoon. And when we got there, the only, the only Japanese that were still there were snipers in the tops of buildings. And it was our job to keep the Irrawaddy completely clear. We used to go 120 miles inland up the Irrawaddy in pairs. At the end of, of the war in Burma, we handed over all our, our MLs that we have to the new Burmese Navy. It was the day before my 21st birthday party and we went up to the Tower Hotel there and they said, come on, Redson, come up, you're leaving tomorrow, you're going to Singapore. So we've got a dinner for you tonight. When we looked round the Tower Hotel, it was decorated with yellow balloons all the way round. We said, where have you got the yellow balloons from? You don't, you know, we've only just signed a peace treaty with the Japanese, etc. And they said, no, they're not balloons, they're condoms. And we've blown them up. <laughs>